The hottest destinations for a hen and stag weekend in the UK are London, uh, Brighton and Bournemouth. Um, they're very popular with uh, the hen weekends who like the five star hotels, a bit of pampering and some decent uh, food uh, like a, a Japanese cuisine in the evenings. The guys, they love their beach sports, they like the water sports, uh, therefore they like the beach babes and, and the bikinis in the coastal resorts as well. Hence Brighton and Bournemouth are very popular. If you're organising a hen and stag weekend abroad, the most popular destinations at the moment are Barcelona um, and Eastern Europe. Um, Tallinn or uh, Germany is actually coming up for the stags for Berlin. Uh, the reasons for that is obviously the cultural aspect for Barcelona. Um, it's also a city uh, that has a beach, so the, the hens really do enjoy Barcelona. Uh, Berlin is somewhere new. It's obviously the historical aspects, the cultural aspects, but also it's very famous for its uh, party scene and nightlife. Um, Eastern Europe, it used to be Prague. It's now moving further east. It has new adventures, uh, new experiences with the activities, and obviously the guys do like to go a bit further afield. A popular reason to go uh, to Eastern Europe for your stag weekend is it's one of the very few places where you can shoot live ammunition with uh, fully automatic weapons. Guys love shooting guns for some unknown reason. Um, but also you can have some really, really uh, different activities such as the stag kidnap where um, you're on a minibus on the way to um, an activity and unbeknown to the group and the stag, you're actually hijacked with babaclava clad uh, thugs taken out of the van and there's a pretense around the fact that uh, you're going to get mugged until the groom's identified, then everyone can relax and uh, enjoys it. So that's a prank that's played in Eastern Europe. So if you're a hen party that's uh, organising a trip abroad, uh, the popular things to do is uh, hire a yacht privately with a champagne and a butler, it takes you out to the bay in the nice summer sun in Spain. Um, other things is to go to a cultural place like a Madrid or a Barcelona and in soak up the atmosphere um, enjoy a few cocktails, maybe try cocktail making, and then sun themselves on the, on the beach. If you're organising the Hen or Stag Party this year, there's thousands of things you can do all over Europe and uh, UK, and even in America. Um, it's very hard to come up with something brand new. Um, so for inspiration, I recommend that you visit our website, red7leisure.co.uk. Uh, it's got the ideas already pre-planned to make life that much easier for the organiser. If you're in charge of a stag or hen uh, weekend, the killer piece of advice is to make sure that mobile phones are off. Twitter, Facebook, very dangerous for the law of the hen of the stag. Um, as you know, Prince William and Kate had their secret hen and stag weekends, and that's the best way to do it. Keep the paparazzi, keep the Facebook, and keep Twitter out of the way. Otherwise, what goes on tour doesn't stay on tour.